<clears throat> okay, um, our lesson for today is about transforming quadratic function into the form of um, y equals 8 times the quantity of x minus h squared plus k. Wherein this is what we call the vertex form. And then we are going to transform it to um, general form which is y equals to a x square plus bx plus c. Okay, so let's have number one example. Okay, y equals 2 times x minus 3 square plus 4. Okay, so this is in the form of vertex form. Okay, so in order to transform into the general form, okay, the first step is to um, expand the given um x minus 3 square so meaning you multiply x minus 3 2 times so x minus 3 times x minus 3 plus 4 okay next step is to simplify or to multiply the factors okay so let's have um, x minus 3 times x minus 3 Okay, to multiply, I'm going to use the distributive property or distributive method. x times x equals x square. x times negative 3 is negative 3x. Then, negative 3 times x equals negative 3x. And last, we have negative 3 times negative 3 equals positive 9. Okay, plus 4. <clears throat> okay, then we have to combine like terms first. Okay, so y equals 2. Then we have x squared. So we can combine negative 3x and negative 3x. So for negative and negative, same sign. Keep in a different sign, subtract. So they are the same sign. So we have negative 3 plus 3, 6x plus 9. Okay, then plus 4. Okay, the next one is to uh, multiply 2 in each term of the trinomial. So, 2 times x square equals 2x square. Next, 2 times negative 6, we have negative 12x. Next, 2 times positive 9 equals positive 18 plus 4. Okay, now... Um, let's simplify. Then y equals 2x squared minus 12x. And then now we're going to add 18 and 4. And that is <coughs> positive 22. Okay, now it is in the form of y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So if you're going to identify what is a, our a is 2. Our B is negative 12 and C is 22. Okay, now let's have number 2. Y equals negative 3 times the quantity of X plus 1 square minus 2. So, this is the, in the form of the vertex form. And we're going to transform it to general form which is Y equals AX squared plus BX plus C. Okay, so let's um, continue. Then Y we have equals negative 3. And then x plus 1 square, meaning you have to multiply x plus 1 two times. So that is x times 1 times x plus 1. Okay, minus 2. And then we write again the negative 3. So we multiply this one, x plus 1 times x plus 1. So I'm going to use the distributive method. So x times x, that is x squared x times 1, that is positive 1x or just x. 1 times x is positive x. 1 times 1 plus positive 1. Okay? And then negative 2. And then the next step, okay, we have to combine like terms. Okay? Then x squared x plus x is 2x 
plus 1 minus 2. And the next step is to distribute negative 3. Okay, so we have y equals negative 3 times x square equals negative 3x square. Negative 3 times 2x equals negative 6x. Negative times negative 3 times positive 1, we have negative 3 minus 2. Okay, and then we have um, two constants, so we have to simplify it. Then y now is equal to negative 3x squared minus 6x minus 5. Okay, now it is in the form of y equal to ax squared plus the bx plus c. So if we're going to identify what is a, what is b, and what is c, our a now is negative 3. And B is also negative 6. And C is negative 5. Okay, number 3. Y equals um, the quantity of X minus 3 square minus 4. Okay? So, we're going to have Y equals X minus 3 square. So, meaning you multiply X minus 3 square 2 times. X minus 3 times X minus 3. Then minus 4. The next, um, it's either going to use a foil method or distributive method. So the same are going to use distributive. So x times x equals x square. x times negative 3, we have negative 3x. Negative 3 times x, that is negative 3x. And negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. Then Okay, minus 4. And then I'm going to simplify. I'm going to combine like terms. And y now equals x square minus 6x plus 9 minus, oh, plus 9 minus 4. Then I'm going to write y equals x square minus 6x plus 9 minus 4. Okay, <clears throat> and then um, we have two constant 9 and negative 4, so we have to simplify it. Then x square now is equal to x square minus 6x plus 9 minus 4 is 5. Okay, so now it is in the form of y equal to ax square plus bx plus c. What is a, what is b, and what is c? A is 1, B is negative 6, and C is 5.